Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am back with another do's and don'ts and this time we're going to be talking about polka dot nails. So hopefully these tips help you guys out and yeah, let's get right into it. So when I'm doing polka dot nails, I typically use a dotting tool. This is what it looks like. It's basically a tool that's double sided and it has a little ball on each side. And most of the time these come in sets so you get a variety of sizes and I will have some linked down below. But when I use these, I actually like to take a plastic bag or a piece of plastic and put my nail polish on there and then dip the dotting tool into the nail polish. I just feel like this makes it so much easier, especially when you're making a lot of dots. So when you're using these, all you're gonna do is dip it into the nail polish and then dip it onto your nail. And as you can see, it's going to give you a perfect circle on your nail. And the biggest thing I think with dotting tool is just controlling how hard or soft you're pushing. So I'm just showing you guys, you can make the dots smaller by pressing lightly, but then you can also make them bigger by pressing a little bit harder. And one thing I would recommend is actually doing a few test dots, pretty much like I'm doing just to see what size you want on your nail or kind of plan out the look you're going for. And one thing you do wanna be careful of is pushing down too hard with a dotting tool because when you do this, it sometimes creates more of a blob shape like I just showed you right there. So just make sure you're practicing before and you should be good. And you also wanna make sure that at least the top half of the ball on your dotting tool is covered because if not, you're just gonna get these marks instead of a full circle. And if your nail design only needs like one or two dots, then you do have the option of just taking the nail polish brush and painting directly onto the dotting tool. Okay, so I think that covers all of the basics, so let's get into an actual nail example. I'm just gonna do the classic polka dot nail where you do rows of dots to give you that polka dot print. And I feel like I've said polka dot so many times in this video, but for this, you do wanna try to keep the dots around the same size. Honestly, it's hard to get them all perfect, but if they're close, that'll be fine. And then after I do a few dots, I typically wipe the dotting tool off on a makeup sponge. I do this because sometimes the nail polish will start to dry onto the dotting tool and then it'll be kind of bumpy and it won't give you a perfect dot. So I'll do that or I'll use some nail polish remover in the lid and then just put it in there and clean off my dotting tool that way. But either way, you wanna make sure you're cleaning it off as you go. And also I do re-dip my dotting tool into nail polish after each dot that I make. Sometimes I can get away with making two dots first, but it really just depends. I pretty much just check and see how much nail polish is still in the dotting tool and then decide from there. So right here, I'm just making dots in the space of the previous row, and that's how you get that print look. And most of the time, you'll find that you need sort of a half dot because you can't fit a full dot in certain areas. So what I do for that is just make my dot as I usually would and just let the nail polish go onto your skin or your cuticle area. And then I'll just go back and clean up the area using a cleanup brush and nail polish remover. And I would try to stick to lighter colors or colors that don't stain as much when you're doing half dots just because it's going to be easier to clean up. If you are new to using a cleanup brush or you just don't like it, I would try to avoid using colors like black, red, green, colors like that just because it will be harder even though I am using black right now. And I do plan on doing a do's and don'ts on cleanup and barriers. Not sure when, but it is gonna come. So yeah, after that, I'm just gonna continue making my polka dots. And if you are a beginner when it comes to polka dots, I personally wouldn't start with a look like this. Instead, you wanna do something that has a variety of dot sizes and kind of just randomly scattered, which I'll show you guys in a second. Another big thing when it comes to polka dot nails is applying the top coat because dots, they just, they love to smudge. So I really have to wait for them to dry. And then once they're dry, I like to take my finger and kind of press down on the dots just to make sure they're laying flat. And then I'll gently glide my top coat over it. And you don't wanna push down because then it'll kind of drag the polish with it. And then you also want to make sure there's a good amount of top coat on the brush. And sometimes I actually re-dip it, but I'll have the link to my do's and don'ts on top coats down below. Here I'm just showing a few don'ts. Right now I'm just making the dots different sizes. Here the dotting tool is way too dry, so you can see I'm just getting like whatever that's supposed to be. I also didn't clean up the nail polish on my skin. And then here is what I'm talking about with the top coat. Like, I know this looks dramatic, but I'm telling you guys, I have done this so many times because it is so easy to do. So, if anything else, please make sure your dots are completely dry before you add a top coat. 
Another great way to get polka dots is by using a bobby pin, and I seriously do this all the time. You just take the bobby pin, spread it open, and then you have a dotting tool. And same thing with these. I like to take the nail polish and put it on a plastic bag, and then take the bobby pin, dip it in, and then create my dots. So these are definitely going to be smaller dots, but I feel like they're still a pretty good size. And again, I do like to wipe it off on a makeup sponge after making a few dots. So for this design, I'm just putting dots randomly around my nail. And like I said earlier, the lighter you press, the smaller your dots will be, and then the harder you press down the bigger they will be so you can actually do a variety of sizes with the bobby pin too and as you can see when the dots are smaller like this I don't re-dip into the nail polish as much just because there's no need to but yeah overall this is a great go-to nail look it's really quick and easy to do and you could just switch out the colors and get a completely different look each time and then after that again I'm making sure my dots are laying flat and then adding my top coat so another way to get some quick and easy dots is by using a toothpick and these are obviously going to give you really small dots but I actually really like the look that it gives for certain designs. So again, nail polish in a bag, dip it in and then make your dots. And you can make these a little bit bigger but I don't know, I feel like when I do bigger dots with a toothpick, sometimes I turn into more of an oval shape but honestly it's not too obvious and it could just be me. But guys, I love doing nail art with a toothpick. Like, when I first started doing my nails, for probably the first two or three years, all I used was a toothpick, and it actually works. So if you haven't tried toothpick nail art, definitely try it out. Anyways, I'm just doing random dots again for this, just to show you guys the variety you can get. But pretty much, once you get the basic polka dot down, there are so many designs you can do just using polka dots. And if you guys would want to see a video of designs with polka dots, let me know. But yeah, as always, if you have more tips, feel free to leave them down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!